Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Xeno Gears. Hope you've all had a fantastic week. I have, although I am dead tired today. My son woke up the whole house in the middle of the night, as he does most nights. And I could not fall back asleep, so I'm on like a few hours of sleep. And now I gotta do complicated mech video game. This is gonna be fantastic. It's time to seek an Ave at last. First of all, our party should inspect the town and work out a plan of action. Currently anchored at our hideout. Uh. So wait, should I go in the town first? Or is this? Well, this is the hideout. I don't know if I can get. I'm just gonna leave and see what happens. Wait. Maybe I shouldn't though, because maybe there's something good to buy in town. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go down to the hangar. Although the hangar, isn't the hangar in the town? Oh no. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna go in the hangar. Do, do. I'm already lost. Two seconds in, already lost. This game deserves a remake. I don't know. With how, I, I feel like I feel like the soul of this game rests in those who played it when they were younger. Most of the comments I get are people saying that it changed their life in some way when they were younger. I feel like it should kind of stay the way it is. You know? a remake might just deteriorate it a bit. Now a port would be nice. Like uh, PS5, PS4, PlayStation Platinum port with trophies. That would be incredible. But a remake? I don't know. All right, so if I go all the way down here, do I get to the town, or is this just the hangar and that's it? I have a feeling this is just the hangar. Yeah, it is. I think I have to leave the secret base to get to the town. But there was that one... Well, no, because that's still the... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I just, I... How do you guys feel about, like... So, let's say, let's take Xenogears, right? So, here's, like, your three options for Xenogears. And keep in mind, this is, like, a game that's, like... Baked into the memories of those that played it when they were younger, you know? It's not something like Final Fantasy VII, where, like, it continued to have a a legacy past the first game, right? Like, it, you had Dirge of Cerberus, and you had the movie, and you had Crisis Core, and you had, like, all these other things that came. Like, this game is just Xenogears. There's Xenosaga and stuff, the team made other games later, but, like, it's just Xenogears, right? So here's your three options. Number one, you get basically Final Fantasy VII Steam, where it's just, like, we touch up the models, we touch up the backgrounds, maybe even AI boost the backgrounds, because that's something that they didn't do for Steam version they could have done. AI boost the backgrounds, touch up the models, and literally just port the game to modern consoles, right? Maybe add some trophy support or 
Steam achievement support, right? That's number one. Number two, remaster the game. So like all the environments are redone, all the models are redone in like modern graphics, but probably not like full 3D, like Resident Evil 4 remake style, but like, you know, or I guess Resident Evil 4 is a bad example. Resident Evil 2 remake style. Uh, but like, you know, everything's fully redone from the ground up, but the dialogue for the most part stays the same. And everything else stays the same. Pokemon, yeah, like Pokemon, uh, what's the, uh, leaf green, something like that, right? And then number three is remake, like Final Fantasy VII remake, like just straight re take these characters, take the overall plot, remake everything, right? For a game like this that had no legacy past just being a PS1 game, with the exception of Xenosaga, but let's kind of pretend like that doesn't exist. What would you guys prefer for a new version of this game? One, two, or three? I'm curious to hear what YouTube says, too. Because I don't really know. Like, uh, for me, I feel like one is what I would prefer for something like this. I don't think any of them are necessarily, like, bad in my eyes. Um, some people... Some people would say that a number, an option number three would ruin the game, ruin the frame, you know, ruin our, our memories of the game and stuff. I disagree. I think you can make a remake without ruining the original. If you don't like it, then you just play the original, you know, unless the developers are coming out and saying dumb stuff like don't play the original, play this one or the original's a moot point now because we have the remake. Like, as long as the developer's not saying dumb crap. And, uh... Kind of want to just, like, go outside and explore a bit. You know. As long as it's just a separate thing, I don't think it ruins anything, right? Um... But... Yeah, I feel like for me, something like this that, again, didn't have any, like, legacy past the game is just a game that people grew up with and remember fondly. I think that option number one is, like, the best possible scenario. Point five. Do a full remaster, but allow the old textures and backgrounds to be toggled on or off. So that would be, uh, what was that? What was that game we played? Was it Ger that German game? That had like the German name that I, there's no way I'm going to be able to remember and pronounce. <laughs> but there was that Genesis RPG that they made a full remaster of, but at any point you could press a button and it would change back to the original uh, graphics. Diablo 2 also did that. But I think this game did that before. It would be an insult to the original team. Square had no faith in this game and treated the development team like garbage. They should leave it alone. Yeah, I, I feel what you're saying there. I think Xenogears is maybe a bad example for this. Because there are some, like, bad things behind the scenes. I kind of just meant, you know, any old PS1 RPG in general. But, um, just use Xenogears as an example. But 
Yeah, I think Xenogears is kind of a bad example for this discussion because A, the creation of this game was really an event in itself, and B, this game kind of had a legacy past itself because of Xenosaga. Um, so, but yeah, like, Legend of Lagaya would be a better example. Legend of Lagaya came out, the rights got disappeared, no one knows, you know, all, all it is is a PS1 game. So it's like, you know, what do we do? What do we do with that? Or like, Threads of Fate, I think is another one that just kind of is there. Um, so it's like, what do you do with these games? With that. I don't know, but I can't do anything with it. Um, oh, can I fight these? some damage. I don't remember how much damage my gears were doing before. But I feel like this is okay damage. I feel like they'll actually die at some point. Are they gonna one-shot me though? Ugh. Not exactly one shot me, but probably two shot me. Why do I have an AP? If I can kill one, we'll probably be all right. But can I kill one? This, but it's probably ah, wow, pretty good heal. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't think I'm a big fan of the number two, like remastering a game from the ground up, but trying to keep, like, everything the same. I feel like more often than not, that doesn't turn out well. And there are some examples of really good ones, but... More often than not, it ends up being a disaster. Like, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Like, could have been great, but then they ruined it. But the the release of that game was amazing. It was like Crash Team Racing, but for modern day. And it was like really awesome. But I think that part of the part of the problem with those games is that the companies just don't give enough love to them. It's, it, more often than not, it's just a cash grab of, like, let's get all the fans of this to buy this, you know? Like, Spiral Reignited Trilogy was awesome, but they outsourced the third game, and so the third game was a glitchy mess. And I think that's because, like... I mean, I don't know, I don't know why they did that with... Spyro, honestly, because I think it was pretty obvious that Spyro was going to sell well, but I think a lot of times they worry about how well the game's going to sell. 
And so... <laughs> he just, like, flew away. Um... They just don't put as much... Where is... Where did... Where did Faye go? Oh, there they are. They don't put as much budget into them because they're afraid they're not going to sell well because they're just for a certain market, certain audience. But I don't really understand what happened. How did you miss? I don't understand what happened with- how are you missing? With, uh, Spyro and Reunited Trilogy, because they made the Crash Trilogy, right? And the Crash Trilogy was, like, a test to see if A, that type of thing worked, and B, if they could make a Crash 4. In Crash, uh, the Crash Trilogy sold really, really well. So then, they funded Crash 4, and Crash 4 also sold really well. But then when it came to Spyro, for some reason, they were like, well... This is a, a smaller target audience, just people that grew up with Spyro, and, you know, so let's just, like, outsource the third game. And, like, they should have known that, A, Spyro was going to sell really well, and, B, you could sell Spyro and Crash together, which they do constantly. So, like, why not put the extra effort into Spyro? And I think because Spyro didn't stick the landing as well as Crash, they're not going to make a Spyro 4. Or if they do, it's going to be a while. Well, that's cool how you stay in your gear. Is that a cave? I can't, like, enter anything. Maybe I'm not supposed to. There's still some things about this game I don't really get yet. Like, I don't really understand why you wouldn't just always be in your gear. Like, they take fuel, but you can always recharge to get more fuel. So I don't really get why you would ever want to not be in your gear. There's parts of the story where you're forced to be out of your gear, but in terms of just exploring, it's like, why would you not just be in your gear always? I'm pretty sure you still level up the same way. I don't really get it. I still don't get the combo system. Like, I get how it works, but I don't get... why you would want to even use them. here. Oh, that's probably it. Ah, uh, yes. Back to this town. Maybe. No? What the heck? This town? Oh. 
here's where the danger begins. That is the danger. Yo, Advent! Thank you so much to the thousand bits. Is that a cactus? Oh, it's a tree. It's one, one lone tree. Apparently this is where we have to go. Oh. Interesting. Yo, Tim, thank you for the gifted sub. The road to Nissan. Welcome to the crew, Dark Man. Appreciate you being here. What in the this is different. Hey, you're a stranger, aren't you? My mom said that there are lots of strangers who do bad things, so I should be careful. Are you a bad person? Tip number one. Don't ask people if they're bad people. <laughs> you better believe it. Sorry, but please don't talk to me now. Yesterday morning's view from the lake. I'm remembering the sensation of that light. Crazy artists. Actually, Nissan is a pretty popular place among artists. Part of the reason is the scenery, because it's mostly because... Part of the reason is the scenery, but it's mostly because of the portrait of the Great Mother that is said to be in the cathedral. Unfortunately, the public is not permitted to go see it. And now we have an anonymous gifter. Thank you very much. You people, you're not residents here. I know from your aura. I too once lived near the royal capital. I swindled people using fake goods when I lived there. I came to hate during doing those things. Then I heard of this place from some pilgrims. I alternate, I alternate gate duty with the guy outside, but it's pretty interesting. Every day I see the pilgrims' faces and get impressions, like this person is very troubled, such. I used to use that ability to get money from people. Now I'd never think of doing that. I am bad guy, but that doesn't mean I am bad guy. be a little confusing when you're coming out of buildings because it flips the camera around. I wish it kept the camera the same. This would be like a multi-day trek. Let's get all the way around. <laughs> Is 
Xenogears has been pretty incredible. I haven't really gotten too far and I can already understand why people hold in such high regard. PS1 only. Hey, hey, don't go up there like that. My husband was a soldier in the Royal Capital's army. But he died a few years back near the border of Kislev. Since then, I have been coming here every year on the anniversary of his death. I moved from another town to live here. They say some young people do the opposite and move away from here. I wonder if it is because they want something more than peace in their hearts. I guess that is just how young people are today. Great to young people. I live in the royal capital. But my oh my, this was definitely worth the trip. I never knew it was so beautiful. Hmm, yes, you're right. Fatima Castle is no comparison to this. Hmm, yes, you're... What? Hey, you. Are you putting down Fatima Castle? No, I didn't mean that. Who is this guy? <laughs> hey, Bart. Don't you be dissing me. You don't even know who you're looking at. Dang, never mind. Just forget it. Bar losing is cool. How's it going, Fish? Hmm. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm even supposed to be in this town. To come here when you are so young is a sign of your interest. what it is. Dude just loves castles. Dude just loves castles. How's it going, Rocky? Yeah, I want to uh, someday when we don't have so many other uh, things going on. I have a I have an idea for the distant future of doing like a event that celebrates each different gaming console. So like, I don't know what exactly how long each one would be, but it would, you know, we'd have like a, a PS1 week and then a PS2 week and then a NES week and a GameCube week and we'd play like I've gone back and forth between doing like a bunch of games from each or just like pick a few or do like the best games or do like the worst games or do like the most popular the most sold games or like so but there'd be some kind of like we, we would pick a, a variety of games on each console to try out and kind of like just see what that console's all about and maybe do some like lore about the console itself as well and like learn about the console itself um and i would love to do a sega saturn like week because i didn't ever have a sega saturn i didn't know anyone that had a sega saturn i'm not sure i've ever played a sega saturn um, actually, wait, is Sonic, um, what is that game? Sonic Heroes, I think it is? The one where you fight 
uh, where you fight the, the chaos slime dude right at the beginning. You guys know which one I'm talking about? I think it was Heroes. Could have also been Colors, but I don't think it's Colors. Oh, that's Adventure 1. Okay. No, that makes sense. Was that a Sega Saturn game? No, that's Dreamcast. Okay. Never mind. Because I, I had a... a um, I had a relative that had that game, and I remember playing it when I was a kid, and I didn't even know what it was or what the console was, but I just played it when I went over to his house. And I was thinking just now, like, oh, maybe that was the Sega Saturn, but no, nah, that was a Dreamcast. So yeah, no, I don't even think I've ever touched a Sega Saturn. And I have, you know, if, if you go to my setup page, you'll see I have a very extensive collection of old consoles and also upscaling solutions for each one. But uh, Sega Saturn is still one that I have not invested in yet, so. That would be really cool, because I would have like no idea what the console is or what it's about or, you know, anything about it, so. It'd be cool to like delve in blind. Meditating in a dark room can clear your mind. Well, this room's not dark, so I don't know what you're talking about. Advent, thank you for the gifted sub. the painters. How's it going, cat? It is indeed. We work in the cathedral over there. So your sisters? Yes, that is correct. We are wandering the land, searching for the connection between Nissan and the outside world. I don't know what that means. Traveling? Surely it is tiring. You're going to that inn? I'm sure they'll have good food for you. Well, I'm in. No pun intended. One food, please. I'm very sorry, but we're all full. As an apology, please accept this. Oh, we got some tea at least. Reduced weight a bit. Is that all it takes? Just have to drink some tea? Continuing our pilgrimage from the south, we finally arrived a few days ago. Walking around the desert is hard work. fearless leader can tell me anything. It is, or at least I think it is. It's one of those things where, like, maybe someone unearthed it a million years ago, but from what I've seen, it's not really known, or at least, uh, wildly known. Wi wild, wide, widely known, not wildly known. It's pretty cool. I don't, I don't want to hype it up too much, because it's not like an earth-shattering, you know... <laughs> We're not skipping parts of the game or anything, but 
it's just a cool little thing. It, it blew my mind. I was, I was like, what? It's pretty cool. After Zeta Gears. You know, I've noticed that. I've noticed that it'll randomly say people are watching without audio or video, but they are. I don't know what that's about. this cave is. I suppose that's where we came out of the thing. walk out of Nissan, maybe? leveling but I really only fought like one big boss guy and I almost lost so I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna get blasted by these world map enemies okay maybe not something and I skipped it too fast. I don't know what I learned. I think I learned Iron Valor. Tack up. Also got heaven sent. <laughs> nice pun. And Mufu. anything else around here. They look ugly. Holy moly. Mm. 
Also a melee. this. Mm, I can't call my boys either. I was worried about blocking into the wrong neck of the woods. Well now this makes you wonder, am I even supposed to be on this continent at all? said we need to sneak into Ava, but I don't know where that is. It's over here. Nothing. The... they would mean that the town we were in before, but it wouldn't let me enter it, but maybe it's because I was in the thing. I don't know if you can get out of the thing. How's it going, whale? So when I had my bladder surgery and I had to go in and get tests done and the nurses were like you're not supposed to be here <laughs> they're like you're, you're way too you're way too young to be here you had the wrong place I was like nope I got the right place <laughs> they were like oh man that sucks. The ethos. What do gears have to do with the ethos? Only the ethos has the technology to maintain generator-driven gear. The ethos decides whether which gear gets which generator in which country. Man, I love this song. I have finished restocking the parts. Now maybe I can get some rest at last. again. As you can see, this facility is for the repair of worker gears only. We simply can't help you out with the new model military gear that you have.
Gotta improve the performance of my gear with the parts I bought here, even if it's only a little bit. What you got? Looks like you got stuff I already got or worse stuff. Now it says equip MS9. So that means Welltall has that, but if I move over to Heimdall, so this would actually be good for him. This would actually be good for him, but I'm out of money. Oh, yeah, I missed the Omni Chair. Right, let me grab. What am I? What happened to my camera? <laughs> I got up and my camera died. Special guest. Nintendo Switch box. Remember this thing? Or you guys remember the Nintendo Switch? Whoa. Talk about blasts from the past. Talk about ancient technology. Talk about Xeno Gears. The Nintendo Switch might as well be a Xeno Gear at this point. We're discussing all the old consoles. PS1, the Sega Saturn, the Nintendo Switch. Only 90s kids will get these references. The area around this town is the highest concentration of ruins on the southern part of the continent of Ignis. Ave and Kislev have been fighting over these ruins forever. I'm old now, I just want to live in peace. Don't we all? Oh dear, the water has stopped again. The workshop must be using it right now. This girl's just walking around in circles. Lately, Grandpa's been in a blue and gum mood. What? It runs on gears and steam. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we can get back to the where the gears were found like up here. Sharpen my scimitar. So daily. This is Ave Army's Dazel Guard Station. No civilians allowed. If you have no business here, please leave. We're in, boys. 